Welcome to This Week in Washington for Tuesday, May the 21st, 2013. I'm joined today on my video with Wiley Coyote. Some of you may remember Wiley because he was at our expo in Albuquerque in 1998. At that time, he was the center of our theme area. Since we had such a good time at that last expo we held there, I thought it would be good to bring him along for this video since he's not going to be able to join us this year in Albuquerque. It's 15 years since we were there last, and in 1998, our expo was much smaller than it appears to be this year. Registration for expo so far is excellent. We are significantly ahead of where we were this time out from Expo last year. We're ahead by almost 20%. The majority of that 20% seems to be with the large number of people who are registering for pre-Expo training this year. That's our more intensive training that comes on the front end of our Expo. And we're well over 300 people coming to attend that event this year. Part of that pre-expo training is, again, much more intensive and much more dedicated to hands-on activities with individuals. So we're very pleased that people have decided to spend some of their time and effort this year attending that important part of our expo. In addition to that, we have a larger number of people coming to the rodeo so far. Part of that's because we've changed the rodeo a little bit to include um, testing and rodeo activities for those who participate as drivers in smaller vehicles. So we'll be having a small van category this year and offering competition in that as well as our body on chassis and in our standard vans. All in all, it's shaping up to be what we hope to be a very good rodeo and a very good expo this year. During the expo, we'll also be joined by FTA Administrator Rogoff, who will be coming out to participate and also to meet with the board, as he's done in prior years. We're very pleased about that, since many federal agencies are on restricted travel, and it's very difficult for people to come to events, even conferences, as important and as good as ours. We're also planning a very good trade fair this year. It seems it's going to be at least as large as last year. We may be a little bit further ahead, but in addition to that, we're going to have the largest sponsorship at Expo than we've ever had. So you'll find many events, including workshops, sponsored by vendors this year who want to talk about some of their specific products and how they can help our industry. Charlie Dixon refers to these as Build-A-Bear workshops, Perhaps we should have called them Build a Coyote workshops, but the Build a Bear workshops gives some of our vendors time to talk about the important work that they're doing and how some of their products will benefit our members in the short and long run. So we've included some of that this year as a little different as well. We're also planning some visits to local transit facilities, and we hope to attract a number of additional people from the New Mexico area to also attend Expo. So at this stage, it's shaping up to be a very good event. Our numbers are great, and we're looking forward to a good turnout. Besides our first board meeting, we will have an opportunity to meet throughout the meeting and throughout the conference. I hope to have a chance to sit and visit with each of you as follow-ups to our ongoing conversations. We want to talk a little bit more about how we're going to address the continuing issues circling around the political situation here in Washington, which I'm sure, as you have been following, know, have made very little progress in terms of reaching discussions or bipartisan action on almost anything. So I think we're all very concerned about the future of our transportation efforts, as well as our transit investment programs, and we'll be spending time talking about that. So I look forward to seeing you at Expo, and as you prepare, I hope that you'll let me know if there's something specific that you're interested in or have concerns about. Later this week, you'll be receiving your Expo magazine. 
a real printed version of community transportation that will also be available this year to our conference participants. I've also taken the liberty of including in the email that I sent with this video a connection to our online program so that you can take a look at what specific workshops we're doing and what specific training is going to be out there. So I think you'll find that enjoyable as well. Again, I always like Expo because it does give us a chance to see our real constituents, people who are interested in all of the activities that we're pursuing, and also creating a possibility for them to talk about specific issues and needs. Among the other things we'll be asking you to do, too, is our traditional walkabout on the trade show floor. That's when we ask you, who are members of the board, to visit with our vendors, to thank them for being at Expo, and also to encourage them to come back again next year. So that's all I have for you right now. And I hope, again, to see you soon at Expo. And if you have any questions after you review the program that's attached to the cover email, please let me know. So for Wiley and for Expo in Albuquerque, I'll sign off for now saying, I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Thanks, have a great day, and see you soon.